Breath's law provides the fundamental condition for X-ray diffraction. Consider a set of parallel atomic planes separated by a distance t. When a beam of monochromatic X-ray strikes these planes at an angle theta, part of the beam reflects from the top plane and part from the one just beneath it. The second beam travels a slightly longer path by a distance equal to 2d sin theta. Constructive interference occurs when this extra path equals an integer multiple of the x-ray wavelength lambda. This gives the Bragg's condition n times lambda equal to 2d sin theta. This simple relation connects the wavelength of the radiation, the angle of deflection, and the spacing between the crystal planes. It forms the basis for interpreting X-ray diffraction patterns and plays a central role in determining a crystal structure. Bragg's law connects diffraction angles with the spacing between atomic planes. Once the D values are known, they can be related to the lattice parameters and the Miller indices of the diffracting planes through simple geometric relation. For example, in cubic crystals, the inverse of d squared is proportional to the sum of h squared plus k squared plus l squared divided by a squared. By combining the experimentally measured d spacings with this relation, we can determine both the lattice constant of the crystal and identify which planes produce each deflection line. In practice, the process of indexing X-ray diffraction peaks is quite straightforward. Here we will look at the case of a cubic crystal where the geometry provides a simple relationship between the spacing D and lattice constant A. This table lists three diffraction peaks observed at 44.5, 64.7 and 81.8 degrees. To index these peaks, we first calculate the d values for each using Bragg's law. Next, we calculate 1 divided by d squared for every reflection and then normalize the results by dividing each by the smallest value. The resulting ratios corresponds to the quantity h squared plus k squared plus l squared which is characteristic of a cubic lattice. By comparing these experimental ratios with the theoretically possible values, we can identify the Miller indices of each reflecting plane. In this example, the ratios are approximately 1 to 2 to 3, which correspond to h squared plus k squared plus l squared values of 1, 2 and 3. These map directly to the planes 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1, 1 for a cubic crystal. Once the reflections are indexed, the lattice parameter can be obtained using the relation A equals D multiplied by the square root of H square plus K square plus L square. Each reflection gives one estimate of the lattice constant and taking the average of all of them provides the final value.